Hi, and welcome to Voice with Julia and day 19 of our Marchese vocal exercises. Today, we're gonna be diving into exercises 24 and 25, which are pairings of different inversions of the scales. We're practicing these clean octave jumps, so make sure your ear is really tuned as we dive in. Voice with Julia, One thought I want you to have as we go through these more complicated scales, and it's this idea of tongue position on the ah vowel. So if you're doing the correct tongue position, the ah vowel will sound a little muddy to you because the tongue should be actually in the mouth, not retracted back into the throat. So what you might think of as a clear ah vowel is something like, oh, oh, oh. Now, that's kind of clear because I've trained my tongue for a very long time to do the right thing. So even when I try to retract it, it's still kind of in the right position. But I want you to hear the difference between that one. Oh, and oh, oh, oh. So the chords can speak a little bit cleaner and I don't have that downward pressure. <clears throat> so as we're moving through these scales, I want you to be thinking about maintaining the integrity of the large structures, meaning the jaw and the tongue, and that those don't flip around as we go from pitch to pitch. If you're noticing that you have to make drastic adjustments with the jaw or the tongue, I don't care how good it sounds, it's still not quite right. So you want to practice this until you don't feel that those big structures have to move. Exercise 24. Now you can speed it up as you get the flow. integrity of the tongue. Now, exercise 25, I like a little bit better because we start in that upper registration. So that, for me, feels like more of a balance, but you might find that this is tougher for you and you might want to perch the voice. So really think about that tongue position as you begin this exercise. So we're gonna start. trying not to let any of the big structures of the mouth or the face move when you're going from pitch to pitch. And I will see you tomorrow.